what happened year one to year two to Joe Judge? Because I loved what he did last year. Everything about Joe Judge I loved so much so that I picked the Giants to win the division this year basically because of him. And now this year the team has come back. They're undisciplined. There was that issue where he didn't understand the rules with the challenges. They seemingly have penalty after penalty, stupid stuff that's going on. He's saying things in post-game news conferences that scratch your head. And now he's calling out the communication system, seemingly making excuses for his team and his offense that failed miserably on a national stage. It's like none of this stuff that we got used to knowing about Joe Judge, we expected to happen this year because of, of the foundation that we thought he set last year. So what happened? Were we duped or is this just, I mean, I, I've got no answers. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's again, it goes back to the inexperience of being the man on the sideline and being the face of the franchise. You know, that that's really what you, sometimes you get yourself embroiled in these things that really make no sense and you really shouldn't have to get embroiled in them. And if you're in any inexperience with dealing with the media uh, especially here in New York, which is a big part of your job. I mean, you could be a great football coach, and maybe he is, but another part of your job is that you are the face of that franchise. You are the one that is, you know, telling your fan base what's going on and how you react in those those media sessions. You know, he may not like them. Bill Belichick may not like them. Uh, you know, uh, Rob Sala might not like them, but let me tell you something. It is a big part of your job. Your owner is watching your every move. Your owner is listening to everything you say. Your owner is listening to how people are reacting to what you say. Uh, the season ticket holders uh, have a voice and a say in this whole thing. You know, there's only 17 games, and there's 17 opportunities for you to have a post-game press conference and say the right things along the line. That when you lose, at least you can give solace to uh, the fact uh, to the fan base that you know what you're doing. And now you added this to this post-game press conference against Kansas City, and now the NFL comes out and the NFL goes after you and says that's, you know, we don't know what the hell he's talking about. Uh, the Bose communication systems work. 